Aloha, I'm Jonathan Jared Sapi right here in the h H&M Digital Center, and this is your See It Now News Brief on this Thursday, November 10th. Let's get you the very latest with our local election results. Here's Steve Uihara. Control of Congress remains unclear this morning as several key national races remain in play. But Democrats are breathing a sigh of relief as it appears they may have managed to hold off what they called a red wave. More on that in a second. But first, Hawaii remains a solidly blue state following the general election that we just saw. But Republicans were able to flip a handful of seats in the state legislature. Here's what we know from that latest printout. Democrat Sharon Har has lost to Republican Diamond Garcia for House District 42, which covers Kapolei and Makakilo. Garcia got about 350 more votes. In House District 41, covering the EVA area, Democrat Matt Lepresti has lost to Republican David Alcos by more than 16 percentage points. Both Lepresti and Har were suspected of drunk driving but had their cases dismissed on procedural grounds. Democratic State Representative Stacey Lynn Ellie also lost. Her Republican opponent, Kanani Souza, pulled in 53% of the vote. This is for House District 53, which covers multiple parts of West Oahu. And then in Senate District 23, which covers Mokulei'ia into Kaneohe, the latest printout shows former TV anchor Brenton Awa ahead of Democratic incumbent Gil Rivier by about two percentage points there. All right, we'll continue to follow that and bring you the latest updates. Now to the national races. The House is leaning Republican, but they haven't secured control just yet. The Senate is still has a, a toss up with three key races yet to be called. After avoiding Republican domination, President Biden had this to say. While the press and the pundits are predicting a giant red wave, uh, it didn't happen. I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. The American people have made clear, I think, that they expect Republicans to be prepared to work with me as well. President Biden also says he still plans to run for re-election, but would make a final decision next year. Former President Trump is believed to be preparing for another run. He teased that he'll have a very big announcement next Tuesday. Now here's a look at what's coming up at noon on This Is Now. Yellowstone is back and I've got season five secrets straight from the stars coming up. Remember these toys from your childhood? A spinning top, light bright, a Masters of the Universe action figure. They were all inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame today. Those three beat out other finalists, including Bingo and Nerf. And that's going to do it for your See It Now News Brief. Also coming up at noon, we're tracking that severe weather that's hitting Florida right now. We'll take you there live at noon on This Is Now. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.